My name is Robbie Jester. Today we are making a mixed green salad with some delicious roasted pears. The mixed greens, we're going to make our own mixed greens. They're featuring Second Chances Farm mess mix. We have wasabina or a mustard green, baby mustard green, and baby arugula, as well as we're going to make a warm bunching onion vinaigrette. It's going to have some gorgonzola, a little bit of everything bagel spice, a little sweet, a little sour, delicious. So to get started, we're going to start with uh, sauteing our bunching onions or our spring onions with uh, a little bit of olive oil just to sweat them out to get this warm vinaigrette going. Now this is our, our bunching onion from here at Second Chances Farm. I'm going to cut these in about, I don't know, half inch long pieces. We have our saute pan here on medium heat with a little bit of olive oil in it. Now, this is extra virgin olive oil. We choose to use that. It's a little bit on the healthier side as far as oils are concerned, but also for the flavor characteristic, it is a nice finishing oil. So red pear, this is a red daju pear. You could use whichever red pear you like. You just want to make sure that it's one that's going to hold up in the oven. So for our pears, I've already squared off the bottom here, but you can just kind of cut around the, uh, the seeds in the center there. We're all friends here, no need, no need to pretend, no need to worry about it. You can nibble on this a little bit if you, if you like that kind of thing. But go ahead and cut some slices out of our pears. We don't want to cut them too thin because we want them to still have some texture out of the, after they come out of the oven. Now, roast these pears with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. So we're taking something that generally we think of as a sweet item. We're adding a little bit of salt and pepper to it uh, to give it a little bit of rounded, balanced flavor. So we have our pears in there. Going to go with a little bit of olive oil here and then some salt, kosher salt, and fresh cracked black pepper. Now, as you can see, our bunching onions are starting to saute a little bit. We got a little action in the pan. Now we're gonna take our pears. We're going to just kind of stir them up with that olive oil, salt, and pepper mixture. And we're gonna lay them out on our non-stick tray here. So one thing here, you want to make sure that they're not overcrowded, not still stuck together. So separate them when you put them on the nonstick tray to make sure that they all cook evenly. We're going to go into a 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So mesclun is a mixed green uh, here at the farm. They're seeded together, mixed together. Um, so this is a good base to start with. Many of you are already a part of our Second Chances Farm Farm to Table Home Delivery Program. Uh, if you're not though, it would be fantastic to sign up. You can get all the information you need at www.secondchancesfarm.com. Uh, sign up for that, it's weekly delivery, it's fantastic. All of the produce in that program is cut and delivered to you within 48 hours. So we have a little bit of our mescaline and greens. We're gonna mix it together with some of our baby arugula. Now that has a little bit of a peppery note. And then we have our wasabina or baby mustard greens here, which definitely has a horseradishy note. I like it. It's going to add some great character to this salad and round out the flavors. And we're going to make our vinaigrette. Now I have my bunching onions here. They're just lightly sweated. So I'm going to add them in. Now I'm going to build our vinaigrette. Now for a vinaigrette, traditionally, it's going to be one part vinegar and everything else and three parts oil. But you can change that depending on your flavor preferences. So I have a little bit of white balsamic here. I'm gonna go into the bottom of our, of our bowl here. We're gonna add a little bit of honey here. And again, it's to your flavor uh, and your preference. If you like it a little bit sweeter, add a little bit more. You know, a recipe is just a guideline. It's a place to start with, not a place to finish. So we're going to mix the vinegar, honey, and our warm spring onions in there together. We're going to add a little bit of poppy seeds. This is just going to add a little subtle flavor, some gentle crunch in there. We have the fresh bunching onions here. We're going to add those in as well. A little salt. Cracked pepper. And now, and now we're gonna stream in a little bit of olive oil. So if you're at home and you don't have someone to help hold this bowl for you, what you can do is you can take your towel like this, give it a little twirl, wrap it in a circle just like this, and sit your bowl in that. That's gonna hold your bowl stable while you can whisk with one hand and stream with the other. 
So we are gonna gently stream in the olive oil here to make our vinaigrette in this vinaigrette. So if you see, you start to see little um, droplets of olive oil throughout, you wanna make sure you slow down your stream a little bit because that means that you're starting to break the vinaigrette. And you go ahead and taste it. I think it tastes really good. I think it does need a little bit more olive oil. And this is kind of, this is kind of mimicking what we might find in the grocery store as like a Vidalia onion vinaigrette or a poppy seed vinaigrette. But with all the wonderful ingredients from here at the farm. So I had some pears already prepared and roasting so that we could, we could do this demonstration. Now there's just one more thing that we need to make for this salad while we're allowing our pears to cool a little bit. So this salad requires an everything bagel mix. Now that's super popular right now. You can find it in every grocery store. However, if you can't find it for whatever reason, they're sold out, you can make it yourself. So certainly if you have a favorite everything bagel uh, mix, use that if you love it. But here's how you kind of mix it and make it yourself. So we have some dehydrated onion here, minced onion from the spice aisle. We have some toasted sesame seeds here. Again, we're gonna dip into those poppy seeds. A little salt. And a little bit of pepper. And that minced onion here is gonna add a nice little crunch to this salad. Uh, and there you have it, a little simple everything bagel mix that you can make yourself at home. Now we're gonna get ready to go ahead and plate this. So we have our greens here. We have our vinaigrette right here. I'm gonna gently drizzle a little vinaigrette. I'm not gonna use it all. Reason being is we can always add more. We can't take it away. So we wanna make sure that we add a little bit at a time. I just want enough to dress these greens. Now, traditionally at this point, I would season these greens with salt and pepper. However, because we have the vinaigrette, we have salt on the pears, we have cheese that we're gonna to add to this as well. I'm gonna stay away from seasoning it right now because it's gonna have plenty added to it. We're gonna go right in the center there. When you're plating a salad, you never, ever, ever, ever wanna push the salad down in the bowl. You wanna just gently allow it to fall on top of itself this way. We're gonna take some of our pears that have cooled now. We're gonna put the caramelized side up. Beautiful. They're just tender, still have some of their texture. Then we're gonna add our blue cheese in. This is gorgonzola cheese. You could use your blue cheese of preference. I happen to like gorgonzola because it tends to be a little less bitter and a little bit more creamy. Now we're gonna add in our everything bagel seasoning. That is there for texture as well as presentation. I'm gonna shake on a few more poppy seeds and then for me, just because I like it, we're going to do a little bit more of the vinaigrette around the side of the plate and on top. All right, so for the first taste, we have Caleb here. He's the, the farm manager here at Second Chances Farm. We figured since he, you know, worked so hard growing all this wonderful produce, we should let him have the first taste of this. Caleb, I'm going to give you a little, uh, little plate here. Leg is good. What do you what do you taste in particular there? Um, what I taste in particular is actually the mustard green, uh, which I I eat all the time here, and you can kind of taste the bunching onion. Mm -hmm. Gives it a lot of like uh, flavor, a lot of pop, and uh, I don't know what this is. That's potato. Roasted pear. Roasted pear. That's actually my favorite fruit too. So that's probably why I like this so much. Uh, yeah, it's it's great. It's wonderful. Uh, it's really cool to see something come together like this. Like I grow this stuff, nurture it, harvest it. So to see it come together like this is amazing. And it's such a, it's, it's a really good dish. And you're feeding people, which is fantastic. And I don't know a much better way to get close to people than, than in their tummies. So. Exactly. Yep, thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I eat the rest of this? Go for it, bro.